welcome back to this week's Football Capsule by Carolina Marace and match analyst Michele Tassani, translated into English by myself, Nicola Williams, the assistant coach. This week we take a look at Fiorentina, who in 26 matches sit in 13th position with 30 points, 32 goals for and 36 against. The Viola, as they are known, in this season passed from playing 4-3-3 when coached by Montella to 3-5-2 of Beppe Iacchini. To compare the numbers in between the two coaches, we have to consider that Montella guided the team for 17 matches and Iacchini just 9, so we try to understand the team's trend with the new coach. Reading the numbers, Iacchini improved the average points per match by 0.8. Also, if Iacchini, the team created less chances to score, his team scored more than before. The expected goals are 1.23 a match, whereas with Montella it was 1.39. It means the team improved the goal efficiency, which is the relationship between the goals scored and the expected goals, from 0.88 of Montella to 0.99 of Iacchini. The team of Iacchini is a team that plays less and defends deep, but gets better results. The typical organisation of the team during the match is to defend with offensive pressing. Here against Milan, the two forwards, Chiesa and Vlalovic, wait for the right distance to attack the ball. Duncan, Pulga and Castrovilli, the three Fiorentina midfielders, defend closely behind them to occupy the centre of the field. Deeper, Fiorentina tried to close the trajectory of the passes to put themselves deep in their half, creating, as we can see, density in the central zones. With the ball wide, it is Duncan who closes the fullback of Milan, Conti, who has the ball, while the fifth player of Fiorentina, Dalbert, is ready to press Castilleco, the wide forward in the 4-2-3-1 of Milan. In ball possession, the team tends to construct the play with the back three, staying more closely together and bringing the ball up the field with short passes and not very many long balls. Here against Udinese, the three defenders bring the ball to try and find the right space to attack. In this screenshot, Milenkovic starts the offensive action in a supporting position behind. Duncan, the internal midfielder, opens up to receive the ball wide and Badal moves to provide another angle centrally to create a triangle. If it is blocked to play wide or forward, the Braschetti, remember the third player of the back three, switch the ball to the central defender, Pezzella, to get away from the opponent's press. Here is a typical example of the way Fiorentina invites teams to attack them in one side to then use a long ball to switch to the free space on the other side. Here we see Battle switching the ball to Duncan who has space to attack. Now we can look at the performance of one of the most important players of Fiorentina, Federico Chiesa. At the top we can see his data when Iacchini was in charge of the team. He scored 4 goals in 9 matches, whereas with Montella as coach it was 2 goals in 14 matches. Therefore with Iacchini, Chiesa scores more. It is also true that Iacchini changed the position of the player, transforming him from an external forward in a 4-3-3 when playing for Montella to the central forward in his 3-5-2 system. It means that with Iacchini, he shoots on the net from a better position, being more central in the 3-5-2 than before when arriving at the goal when he was playing 4-3-3 with a difficult angle to shoot from and therefore less goals. His expected goals in 90 minutes also improved with Iacchini being 0.43 from 0.33 with Montella. Another interesting player who is also young is Gaetano Castrovilli, the internal midfielder who has scored three goals this year for Fiorentina. The chart at the top shows he is third in the category of offensive duels for midfielders in Serie A, with an average per match of 15.42 and the success of duels won, so his 1v1 situations, of 48.23%. He prefers to go in in the left, as you can see from the image, however there are variations to his attacking runs in the box. So the statistics agree with the position of Fiorentina in the league this season. 13th is an indication that they haven't scored many goals, conceded quite a few and don't rank high on both averages of expected goals and expected goals against. Thanks again for watching this week's episode. Next week we'll focus on Torino of Moreno Longo.